Hey guys, um, I'm back. I have not posted a video in forever and I haven't even picked up my camera. I felt awkward in front of a camera talking to a camera lately. I don't know what's changed, but I decided that I'm just gonna get over it and start filming because I miss it and I miss talking to you guys and yeah. So here I am <laughs> and I just did my makeup. I'm about to go to dinner with Noelia and some friends. We're going to Snowboo and I'm also about to leave town in a few days, which is crazy. I feel like I haven't gone anywhere in a while. I'm going to Hawaii for Noelia's birthday and it's just me, her, and our friend Yurin. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. It's gonna be more of like a wholesome trip, I'm hoping. <laughs> we just partied like insane for Noelia's birthday. Like, I just wanted to say, so raise your glass if you are wrong in all the right ways. You can see me move on my mom, I wanna stop. Have sweet. I'm a pass it to my bro. Basically, we um, rented out this like part of a club that we go to sometimes and they have like a side room So we rented that out and we put a stripper pole in the middle and we hired three strippers It looked like a strip club, but it just was not a strip club It was a normal little club area with a bar and We had hookah at the tables and there was just money flying everywhere and it was insane It was honestly like so crazy and that was just the pregame because then we went to the club after hours and we were there until like 4 a.m. It was it was a lot. Um, yeah. But now I'm like I need to like recharge and take a break. So we're going to Hawaii, which I'm excited for. But before I left, I wanted to do a little haul of some stuff that I just got. Lounge Underwear is sponsoring this video, which I'm so excited about. If you follow me on Instagram or any social media platform, you know that I've been working with Lounge like forever, and they're so sweet. Like I love working with them. The whole team is amazing. I love their products. They honestly like, I think have the cutest underwear out of anywhere. Like even if I wasn't working with them, I would still be wearing them all the time. <laughs> like they're just really cute. They fit really good. The colors are cute, the patterns. They have apparel too and like some workout stuff, which is really cute. But yeah, I wanted to show you. I have some stuff over here from them. So some things I can't try on because that's slightly inappropriate. And then some things I can try on. So I have all this right here. I have some underwear. I have a set, I think. Some sets, a robe, so yeah, let's see what I got. Okay, so I got these shorts. Very stretchy, thick material, which I love for biker shorts. It has this matching hoodie that goes with it. I really like this color. It's like brown, but it's like a warmer toned brown, if that makes sense. Little tank top, crop top, sports bra situation with some more biker shorts. Actually, I'm going to wear this tomorrow when I work out. I'm going to work out with Noelia at David's house um, with Natalie, which will be fun. And she has like a trainer coming, so I don't know how that's going to go. I'm scared it's pretty early and I don't wake up that early. It starts at 8.30. I wake up at like 9 every day. I'm just going to have to wake up at like, what, 7.30? I don't know about all that yet. But here's a robe. This is honestly so, it feels so comfy. It's so fucking soft and there's like fuzziness lined inside. Maybe I'll put this on right now instead of the robe I'm wearing. And then sweats, same color as the set um, from before, the biker shorts. Cute, I really like this waistband, how it like scrunches. I feel like this is gonna be really flattering and like make my waist look smaller. And then this comes out, which is cute. And then comes with a hoodie, cute, simple, awesome. Maybe I'll wear that to the airport, you never know. But yeah, I'll do a little try on haul of those in a second. I'm just throwing them in my bed because it's messy. Okay, and then this is what I can't try on and show you, but it's so cute. This is really cute. It's like purple, has blue flower detailing, and obviously it's not just like um, a bra bra. Like it comes down and then it has these little. So cute. I want to take a photo in that actually. And then it comes with this matching underwear. Maybe I'll bring this to Hawaii to take a pic. And then another set. I'll show you the bra first. It's blue and with pink details. <laughs> it's blue with pink detailing, which is really cute. And then these are the bottoms. Okay. Really cute. Like I love these colors. Usually when I pick out sets and underwear, I usually go for like black, like that's just like my go-to or neutral colors. I don't love colorful things, but for some reason lounge, like the colors they pick out are always really cute and they look nice on my skin, which I feel like I just never want to look like I'm doing too much. Not that anyone even sees me in anyways, but whatever. I'm just like rambling now. I don't really know what's going on. I'm going to try everything up. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the sets. 
So if you look this up on the website, it's called Second Skin. I think it's Second Skin shorts and like tank or something. So comfy and flattering. I'm obsessed with the fit of this top. Um, I feel like it has more coverage than some other ones, which I like. And the baggy shorts are really good length. So yeah, this is the first set. Okay, and then I actually wore this the other day already, but this is same shorts, just in a different color. Second skin, biker shorts, and then a matching brown hoodie, which is really cute and comfy. I really, 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 really love these shorts. They look really good on, and they like suck you in, which is nice, but they don't look like they're like too tight, you know? So this is the second set. Next set. And if you know me, you know that I love a good sweatsuit. I'm wearing a sweatsuit like every day for the most part. And these are so cute. I have another pair of pants that do this at the waistband and I love them. <laughs> this is a whole sweatsuit. And I love it. Yeah. This on the website is called the Oversized Hoodie and Joggers. Okay, this is, this is the last thing. And it is my favorite so far because... I love robes, like I have a million robes and this one is so soft and has a hood which is so cute. Now I want it to be Christmas because robes remind me of Christmas, especially when they're fluffy like this on the inside. It's so cute and cozy and now I'm going to get rid of my other one. Actually, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I will now be wearing this as my everyday robe. Do you like it? Okay. But yeah, thank you Lounge for sending all this my way and sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Also, what I love about Lounge is they're very planet friendly. Like all of their packaging is recyclable and conscious of the environment. And I have a discount code if you want to buy anything from the site and you get 10% off, I think, the entire website. And my code is KelseyC10 in all caps. And I will write it so you can see it in case you forget. So I went out last night. It was honestly really fun. We went to a concert and then we went to the club and I lost my phone. <laughs> and I'm trying to text off my computer, but I can't log into my iCloud because it keeps sending two-factor verification to my phone. So I'm literally trying to text people off of my email and I'm spiraling. I'm gonna go to the Apple store, I think, and I can't drive because I don't have my license. So I'm texting Olivia off my email and she's sending me an Uber <laughs> to her house so she can bring me to the Apple store really crazy. I guess I'll go outside and try to find my Uber. Oh, you got me. I am going to walk and get some juice from the juice bar next to my house and possibly lunch. It is 11.52. I've been having this problem lately. I usually wake up at like 9. My alarm is set for 9 every single day and for some reason lately I've been like exhausted and usually if I don't wake up at 9 and like start my day, I usually work out in the morning. I feel like so not productive and I like beat myself up about it. So it's really weird that I've just been like sleeping in. I don't know why. And it's not even like I'm going to bed late because I went to bed last night at like, I was in bed by 10. Probably fell asleep at like midnight. But that's enough sleep. Like, I'm really confused about what's going on. But yeah, I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. I'm gonna go walk and get some green juice. I feel like that'll help me feel a little bit better about myself, putting something healthy in my body. <sighs> okay. Yeah, so just did some skincare. I'll show you what I did. Usually in the daytime, this is all I do. I don't know if this is um, good or not. But I just use this vitamin C serum from Ola Hendrickson. And then I use the glow screen from Super Group. Guys, I'm so confused. <laughs> this is the second time this has happened. I literally just walked to um, this juice bar to get a green juice. And someone's like throwing eggs off the ceiling and it's really confusing me. Like fully egging in front of the juice bar, <laughs> throwing the eggs down so hard and they like crack everywhere and they like get on people. I'm like, why is that happening? Who's egging the juice bar? Okay, I'm at the market and I'm getting everything to make a garlic confit, I think that's how you say it. But basically you just like roast garlic in the oven for like two hours and it makes this like a really creamy, good garlic sauce. So I'm gonna do that and then also tomato soup. So I'm getting everything. 
Okay, so this is everything I got for that tomato soup I'm about to make. I got a bunch of tomatoes, garlic, onion. I watched so many videos on TikTok to find just like a random recipe I see what people do and everyone is using red bell peppers, which is kind of random to me, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Basil, and then the garlic confit is, or go I don't know if I can say it, confit, confit, is the tea silent? I don't know. <laughs> But I got bread um, for when that comes out of the oven. And then I got some hot honey to put on top. I thought that would be really good with like prosciutto and like burrata or like a cheese. I also got truffle honey. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm currently hiding in my closet. So Noelia doesn't hear me, but Taylor and I set up a cute little surprise lunch for her birthday. Her birthday's tomorrow, but we're doing it today. And we rented out a house and we got like a sushi chef and then like a seafood boil chef, which is like crab, potatoes, corn, like that whole thing with like the Cajun sauce. And then we got a mariachi band to like greet everyone and sing when they come in. And yeah, it's gonna be really cute, but she has no idea. Olivia texted us saying she needs us for a music video that's cowboy themed because the lunch is cowboy themed, aka okay? like cowboy hats. So she thinks Olivia's picking us up to bring her to the Britney Store music video that we're supposed to be in, but we're actually going to the lunch. <laughs> she just came in my room and she was like, we're so unprepared, like what do we wear? What is Olivia wearing? She went to Urban Outfitters to see if they have cowboy hats or cowboy boots or something. And I'm just like sitting here texting everyone, trying to like focus on what she's saying and also like text everyone back to like, what time do we show up? It's really stressful. So basically she's in Urban Outfitters right now looking for cowboy hats for Olivia's music video. Oh, also, side story i have a fucking like i have eczema on my neck and i was itching it so much yesterday because i was around sauce's cat and i'm also allergic to cats and now it's just like red and it's awful and i don't know how to get rid of it so that's fun but yeah here's my outfit of the day for olivia's music video <laughs> i'm wearing this realization par devin lee carlson collab dress and I'm wearing some Sambas and some knee-high socks, and that's it. And hopefully a cowboy hat when that arrives. Yeah. Noelle is pissed because she went to go get cowboy boots for this video, and they gave her a size 9 instead of a 7. And Olivia just picked us up. Yes. But we have to go exchange the boots now. Yes, but it'll take one second. They're waiting for me at the register with us. Okay. Us. Perfect. And then we go to the music video. Are you guys excited? Yes, I love dressing up as a cowgirl. I got this harness. <laughs> Cute. She hey. went all out for this. <laughs> I should have been wearing a bodysuit, but whatever. I should have been wearing like a white bodysuit. It's yeah. Noelia's music video now. <laughs> Why am I like shaking? Thank you. What happened to you guys? Thank you. <gasps> this is fucking crazy. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Hey, we got a lobster in the building. Fuck with me. Show us how it's done. I don't know how it's done. Oh, you don't? To I think honest. you need a tool for that. No, there's no. Oh. Oh. That was a nice sound. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh my god, it's... Whoa. Out of ten. Like an eight. Wow. I'm so glad I walked. It's like a sweet butter. Oh my god. Oh, look who it is. The princess is here. Hey, She's Sierra. Hey, Miles. Are you vlogging? This is Kelsey's vlog. Hi, Kelsey's vlog. Kelsey, you vlog? Yeah, sometimes. I didn't know Kelsey vlogged. Hi, Kelsey's vlog. Kelsey 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 v
Okay, so do you guys remember how I lost my phone two weeks ago? Welcome to the club, girl. I was on the fucking mummy ride last night and I'm enjoying myself, like laughing, smiling so hard. And it literally felt like a comedy, like the way it flew out of my hand was insane. And I like watched out and I was like, no. And my hand was like still like this, like empty. I was like, no way. Fully flew out of her hand. And now it's on the ride and we tracked it and it's still there, her phone's still alive. We just went back to Universal, it's 10 a.m. and they didn't even check for it. So now we have to wait to see if they find it tonight. But obviously she can't wait that long to get her phone considering it. She literally lost it on her birthday, by the way. <laughs> it was her birthday last night. Um, but she's having a party tomorrow, so she needs to like talk to people, so we can't wait. So now we have to go we can't get wait. her. <laughs> we can't wait. So now we have to go get her another phone. So that's now where we're going. Okay, so we went to the Apple store because they didn't have our phone at Universal and they told us they didn't have the phone there <laughs> that we wanted. So we, um, they said to drive downtown because they had it at the store downtown. It was like a fucking 50 minute car ride. Yeah, it was a 13 minute miles. car ride. All the way to this Apple store, they end up not even having the phone that we wanted still. So we wanted the Pro Max and they only had the Pro, right? So we ended up getting that, but it took so fucking long. I have a nail appointment in... Now? One right now, actually, it's two, and my nail appointment's at two, and we are... We don't know how far we are, and this is why we don't know how far we are. It's because they couldn't set her phone up fully. Like, she had extra security, so she has to go to AT&T and set it up there. So she just has the actual physical phone, and it's not set up yet. For me, I wanted to get the Pro because the camera's better. So I got that, and I was gonna return my other one. And I guess in the process of that, he switched my number over to the new phone, but then he said it was gonna take way too long to transfer everything to that. So my number is on this new phone, but it's not connected to anything. And I have to like log in and wait for it to back up, which is gonna take so fucking long. And my phone, the one that I'm using right now, has no service. So we have no way of getting home because we don't have a map. We're getting home. So we're on the freeway and we have no idea where we are or where to go. I know where we are. We were like panicking when you're for lost, a second. When you're lost, you just need to find the freeway. And I, I, that's when I freaked out because I was like, are we ever going to get to the freeway? We were just like driving. I was like, we were about to yell out the window. Do you know what direction the freeway is in? Also, we've been doing this mission for four hours. We went to Universal Studios first. At 10 a.m. And now it's 2 and we're driving back from downtown. Yeah, so hopefully my nail girl doesn't hate me. And hopefully my phone will back up soon. And hopefully she gets her set up because we have nothing right now. An iPad. <laughs> An iPad.